Charlie, what are you having? FIFA 23 still ongoing and if you are struggling to make your FIFA 23 ultimate team as good as probably the pro players then this is the channel for you slime more here and you are welcome to the channel if you are looking for more tips and tricks to navigate your way through the ultimate team kindly subscribe to the channel and then click the bell for post notifications so every time i post you'll be able to watch the video i'll be giving tips and tricks out there for you to be able to get better players in fifa ultimate team and also probably make higher ranks and then try to compete against the pro players we all know we don't have that probably luxury to be able to get the players that they are having right now but with that out of the way let's get into what i'm going to be telling you about in fifa ultimate team today so with ultimate team is just well i think for old comments, you already know what Ultimate Team is. And for new comments, if this is your first time playing Ultimate Team, it's just kind of a fantasy league where you're able to put together your favorite players and then play them in the game. So you can have your Messi and Ronaldo. You can put the Messi and Ronaldo debate aside, put them in one team and then enjoy them. But it's quite difficult to get both Messi and Ronaldo. So it's a gradual breakdown for you to be able to probably get the players that you are looking for and if you started ultimate team this year then i think you have to know about season progress where you have to gain xps that is your experience points throughout objectives that are given every probably like every week um every day as well there's daily objectives weekly objectives so just in the menu here you have to be completing these xp so you can see here 300 xp and stuff like that you're going to be gathering gathering these experience points to give you rewards and season progress so you notice the sync the season progress so once you start the season you find out that there are rewards for each level there's always nice rewards in there but some of them are also probably whack so you have to choose carefully so i'm here to navigate you through what to choose when you're done with season progress so you can find the page one where you have level one to level five rewards as well and level 9 to 10 so you can see some interesting rewards we have packs in there tifos in there well i'm not a big fan of tifos but i feel like some people also love them and that's why fifa keeps adding them to rewards so no hard feelings there you can also get a ball in there but the most important ones are the players this is a loan player vinicius loan so you will be able to use him in only seven matches and a tip for you use your loan players and friendlies with friendlies the loan the number of matches does not decrease so you're able to use vinicius till the end of the game once you are playing friendlies and friendlies alone and on page three level 15 when you get to page three level 15 you find that you can get a player out of well the the season progress so you have three players to choose from usually the page three doesn't have good players as compared to page six so you can just choose one based on your team and then where well your team is the direction your team is heading towards if you are using a premier league team and there's a premier league player and then you could opt for a premier league player so you can see that once you progress through the seasons the well the rewards are getting juicier so just keep completing those objectives and then get more juicier rewards so you can see we've now landed at page six i've completed mine and now i'm going to help you to probably select the best players so before you get to page six you have to get about hundred thousand experience points that might sound bulky but it's actually really easy just keep following the objectives and then completing them and you get there very very surely so you can see i have about 13 days to spare and i've already completed the whole of the season progress and now at the final stage level 30 you've been rewarded with three players to choose from so i'm going to be reviewing these three players and who i think should be your best pick going when you're done with well the the season progress so our first player is evo rodriguez did i get that name right let me know in the comment section what you think the right pronunciation is it evo or ivo i think i'll have to look that up um so evo rodriguez hmm four star skill move weak foot um 511 and he's also right footed he's also really really decent he's also a portuguese and i know a lot of portuguese players and in people's footing so if your team's also portuguese oriented i think you could you can also go for evo rodriguez he's playing in the portuguese league as well so if your team also has a lot of portuguese league players i think Igor rodriguez might be the man for you you can see he can also play a right wing back but is that the right choice 
because his defensive stats don't look like someone who can play a right back right wing back actually so it's up to you if you feel like you want to play my right wing back then it's up to you but that might not be the best case and he can play on both flanks as well left wing and right wing but his preferred position where the game has given to him is indeed right wing so his preferred foot is also i think he's right footed and he has a high attacking work rate and um a, a medium defensive work rate with these i think it's so important because he's a right winger he's a winger basically so if he has a medium work rate he's going to help your right back or your left back essentially so it's pretty decent that he has the medium work rate and now to his so his statistics where most of you are probably looking at 88 acceleration 82 speed i think his pace should have been a bit higher to be able to make him as quick as you would have wanted a winger to be attacking positioning decent and his finishing 76 short power okay that's strong long shots also pretty good and his agility and balance is also okay wow that's interesting for a winger to have loads of jumping 90 rated jumping as well and his player traits he's got flair he's a long shot taker and a technical dribbler so it's pretty impressive for evil rodriguez mind the way i'm mentioning you let me know in the comment section what you think about the name flair long shot taker and then technical dribbler so all in all i think evil rodriguez is not a bad choice but let's keep scarring through what well the season progress rewards look like and we have another player in almada hmm fair sight at his card uh, it seems nice um an argentine player playing in the mls seems nice it's really impressive for his pace his shooting but let's let's delve deeper and see what i think of him so well with almada or thiago almada so four stars can move four star we for also impressive it's pretty short to do five seven okay but it's not bad he has a high attacking work rate and a low defensive work rate so he's he's a calm and for comes having low defensive work rate is it, it doesn't hinder your progress too much because you'll be doing a lot of defensive work if it was a central midfielder or a defensive midfielder it might probably have an effect on your team so having defensive work rate is not that bad and um, he's a right winger and a left winger as well so he can also play on both flanks but him having that defensive work rate might just not be the best position for him as he's supposed to be helping his right back or his left back as well and then it's also from the MLS. That's the only probably the dent in his in his card. Being able to link him with the MLS is going to be so difficult because not a lot of people are using players from the MLS. And he's Argentine. That is the only probably the reason why I might go for Almada. And now let's delve into his stats. He's got good acceleration, good sprint speed. 92, 83, I think is decent for a calm and a winger. His attacking positioning is not that bad finishing also pretty decent short power i like a short power agility and balance wow i can already tell this guy's going to be a dribbler like you you can just feel it he's just going to be that kind of tricky dribbler where well when you're using the left stick dribbling well left stick dribbling if you it is pretty difficult but when you're dribbling with Amad, i'm sure it's going to be smooth and all and his player traits also got the finesse shot he's also a long shot taker a speed dribbler as well and a playmaker so he's got a lot of traits for him to work with a lot of traits for him to work with the finesse shot is not the best of shots to go for you probably opt for the outside for sure but you could try it out one or two times and it could find itself or you could find the ball into the back of the net so Amada is also not a bad choice and now let's see the final player he has at the season progress page six is Broby and well since I'm Ghanaian, I'll probably be leaning towards Bobby, but that's not my final pick yet. Let's wait and see and then delve into his stats to see what he's like. He's Ghanaian, and, um, but he's playing for the Netherlands right now, so um, we'll see how that works out. And we've got a Nyaki Williams in the Ghana squad, so we probably might wouldn't be needing Bobby. But let's get down to business. Bobby is also, Bobby is also 5'11", decent for a striker, medium attacking work rate. So he's going to be doing a lot of well with attacking work rate if, if you are the type of player who likes to press if the work rate is high he might help you a lot in press so medium is not that bad for a striker and he's got low defensive work rate where he's not going to be helping the defense a lot so it's it's not a dent to your team 
he's got three star skill moves hmm a bummer for bro but actually when you have three star skill moves there are a lot of skill moves that you can do but it's not too bad weak foot also four star so i think bro is also a decent choice he's a striker alternative positions only cf so that's not bad and the league i think this year we are seeing a lot of air division teams because the likes of Cody Gakpo and Co. I'm seeing a lot of Cody Gakpo in people's teams. So, Brobe is also not a bad choice for you. And the Netherlands are also a popular country where you have them in foot team. So, Brobe is not that bad. He's got decent pace. Um, he's also a good finisher of the ball, as you'd expect from a striker. He's got good shot power, agility, and balance. Agility is not there yet, but his balance is also pretty good. He's got good jumping. So, in the air, I think he's going to be a deadly attacker as well. And for unfortunately for Bobby, he has no player traits, so he's probably a raw player. So after going through all these three, I think I might just be leaning towards hmm, final decision. Ivo Rodriguez, Almada, Bobby. I'll probably be leaning towards Almada just because he probably has more pace and um more flair so you could also go with Amara but Bobe is he's tempting Bobe is really tempting and my team has a lot of air divisé players and I'm from Ghana so I'll probably be a bit biased and then choose Bobe so my final choice here is Bobe I wouldn't be too mad at you if you choose Amada or Ivo Rodriguez I think they're also pretty good picks but for me I think Bobe is decent for me and I also need a striker my striker is not doing too well so I think Bobe will be my best choice so there it is I've gone for storyline Bobe and well hopefully he does wonders in my team so yeah welcome Bobe and hopefully he's the best pick so there it is will be in my team and well hopefully he slots him perfectly and does wonders for my team i'll be releasing another video on how he does in my team and i'll show you what to do with this card and well the kind of chem styles you can use him for to probably make him lengthy and to make him a better striker option for your team thanks for watching the video and well till next time is bye for now